Hi, this video tutorial I will cover object class uh, hash code method. Here you can see a children's story book object. It has uh, two fields, name and ISPN number. Name is uh, children's story and ISPN number is uh, 2000. Here you can see kids story book object. It has uh, two fields, name and ISPN number. Name is uh, kids story and ISPN number is uh, 2000. Memory address of uh, children's story book object is different from memory address of uh, kid story book object. So if you try to do equals of uh, children's story book object with uh, kid story book object, we will get false. If you try to do equals of uh, children's story book object with uh, children's story book object, we will get true because we are comparing the same object. Here I have defined a book class. It has uh, two fields, name and ISPN number. And I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these two fields. And it has a book constructor. Using this constructor, we can create a book object. Here I have defined uh, object class test. It has a main method. First I will run this program, then I will explain. Here you can see the output. Here I have created a children's story book object. Here I have created a kid story book object. Here I am calling a hash code method of a children's story book object. And here you can see the output. And here I am calling a hash code method of a kid story book object. Here you can see the output. And you can see hash code value of a children's story book object is different from kid story book object. Here I am comparing a children's story book object with a kid story book object. It will return false because a children's story book object in one memory location and a kid story book object in another memory location. So both are not equal. So it will return false. Here you can see the output. Here I am comparing a children's story book object with a children's story book object. It will return true because we are comparing a same object and it will be in the same memory location so it will return true the value written by hash code is the object's hash code which is the object's memory address in hexadecimal by definition if two objects are equal their hash code must also be equal if you override equals method you change the way two objects are equated and object's implementation of hash code is no longer valid Therefore, if you override equals method, you must also override the hash code method as well. Whenever hash code method is invoked on the same object more than once during the execution of a Java application, the hash code method must consistently return the same integer. If two objects are equal according to equals method, then calling the hash code method on each of the two objects must produce the same integer result. And this is about object class hash code method and thanks for watching.